slip the lies one day at a time. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. They're here to get your day going fine. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. And here's your host. Miss Kim Robinson.
Hey, how's everybody doing? Welcome, welcome to us. everybody doing? Welcome, welcome to another Sunday with Nuts with your boy, Dre. How's everybody doing tonight? Yes, what a wonderful week we have had. And I'm, I'll tell you right now, I am so excited. I am so excited to be with you for another Sunday with Nuts with Dre. I hope you all are going to enjoy the show. Well, you got no choice because the show is going to be awesome. I just thank you for joining me for another Sunday with Nuts with Dre. This is your boy, Dre, and as always, man, I know I know, I say it a lot. I do. I really do. Thank you. I, I, I say it quite often, but I really mean it this time. Not like I didn't mean it the last time or the time before the last time or even that last time that was right after that very last time. I missed you guys, and I'm so glad you took out just a moment of your time to just share it with me. And enjoy another Sunday with Nuts with your boy Dre. It's been a long week. I tell you what, it has been a long week. But as you can see, looks like the weather is clearing up. The cold is leaving us. Old man, wind is leaving. And I tell you what, y'all, springtime is right around the corner. I tell you what, we're going to get right into it. Sunday with Nuts with Dre, out of order. Now, you know what, out of order has been one of the staple mates up. The Sunday with Nuts with Dre. And I tell you what, I believe I've definitely helped more people with the out of order segment than I have helped with any other segment. Because you know what? A lot of people are just out of order. And it's my duty, it's my obligation to point out things in situations that are out of order to people so I can do what? Help them get where? In order. Now, of course, out of order could be you, it could be a family member, it could be a, a friend, it could be a co worker, it could be. Uh, Strange in the street, somebody you see at your local grocery store or the bank or somewhere, somebody that you just pass as you're walking through the park on a beautiful sunny day. I believe it's my obligation and it's my duty just to point out things to people and say, hey, that's out of order. Let's see if we can't help you get in order. Now, of course, if you don't recognize any of these and anybody you know, that's because all of them are you. And you are totally and completely out of order. Get that thing in order, all right? I'm here to help you. Here we go. I don't know what. Number one, look here. Men, I, and, uh, brothers, stop. Just stop. So, you know, you got to learn, you, you got to learn when to quit. You got to know when it's time to let it go. If this is you, you out of order. If you got braids in your hair, but your hairline is behind your ears, you out of order. Come on now. Come on now. You you, you lost so much hair. It's just, it, honestly, it's like somebody is slowly but surely pulling your braids from the front of your head to the back of your head down the back of your neck. Come on, stop it now. Let that go. Instead of four heads, you got a seven head. Stop. It don't look cute. If this is you, you're showing up out of order. Look here. Uh-uh. Don't do that. Tax season is here. If this is you, you out of order. If you got to borrow money to pay somebody back a loan, you out of order. First of all, if you owe somebody, why are you going to borrow money to pay them off? You know what that means? You still owe somebody, stupid. <laughs> oh my God, I don't understand it. I, again, I want to help you. I want to be a blessing and not a curse. If this is you, mm-mm-mm, you out of order. Look here, women. I don't understand it. If you shave your legs and you shave your arms, but you only shape up your goatee, you out of order. Why don't you shave everything off? Matter of fact, if you've got to, if if, if you've got to have some hair, please don't let it be the hair on your face. Okay, shave all of it off. Don't stop. Don't stop till you get enough of all that hair. If this is you, you show up out of order. Now, I, I, and this right here, I know it's tax season, and, and I know, I, I mean, 
I know, especially black people, we spend money like, you know what, <laughs> it's tax season all year long, and then we broke as a joke. But ain't nobody laughing. But this is you. You out of order. If you're riding around with a donut on your tire, but wearing new Jordans, you out of order. So you mean to tell me you can spend $200 on a pair of shoes, but you can't spend $65, $70 on your tire? I don't understand that. You out of order. Get that thing in order. Look here. If your belly button is so dirty that you got to stick a cough drop in it to cut down on the stinky smell, you out of order. Come on now. Come on now. Don't do that. Your belly button smells like eucalyptus leaves. That don't make no sense. It's still dirty. Okay? It might clear up your sinuses, but it's still dirty and nasty. Get that thing in order, okay? Wash your belly button. But this is you. <laughs> you out of order. If you call exercising, walking six blocks to the Golden Corral or you can eat buffet, and then you out of breath. <laughs> you show sure enough out of order. Because you know what? You walk into the buffet so you can eat like a, you know. Walk somewhere else, okay? Don't walk to all you can eat joints because you're going to defeat the purpose because you're going to eat and eat and eat. And then you're going to have to probably spend the night there because you're going to be too lazy and too fat to walk home. All right, now. Or right, you can get an Uber. I told you I'm going to help you. If this is you, <laughs> you're showing up out of order. Now, look here. I, say, I, 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 I cannot stress this enough. Y'all be careful. There are fake people out there. There are con artists. There are there are there are, there are scam artists. Okay. And if you deal with somebody like this, you showing up out of order. If you claim you're a psychic, but you take a bad check from me, you out of order. First of all, if you was real psychic, <laughs> you would have known to ask me for cash and cash only. <laughs> Boy, but I got you anyway. If this is you. You out of order. If you raising a child so dumb that they flunk in lunch, what do you mean? Flunk in lunch. So they so they don't even know how to eat. You know what? That, just stop it. If this is you, you show sure enough out of order. Let me tell you something. If you FaceTime me while you're on the toilet, I, you know, I don't leave that one alone. Stop it. If this is you, you show enough out of order. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. If you go to the Special Olympics and you park in a handicapped parking spot, and ain't nothing wrong with you. You know what? You show enough out of order. That's you know, that's that might be you might you 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 probably got an athlete's parking spot. Come on now. If this is you, you show enough out of order. Oh my goodness. Mm, 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 mm. Again, I'm <laughs> this one right here. I, I yeah, if this is you, you you way out of order. Look here. If you got a gold tooth in your dentures, why why are you doing that? That don't make no doggone sense, okay? You got a little bling bling in your false teeth? Huh? You think that makes you cool? You, you you look special. Yeah, you look special. Special Ed. You know. If this is you, you show sure enough out of order. Oh my gosh. <laughs> if you in jail on a five hundred dollar bond, but they say you can get out. I didn't pay ten percent. And you end up spending more than three days. In jail, you out of order. Now, let me break this down to you what I just said. If you're in jail on a $500 bond, but they say you can get out if somebody pays 10%, but you end up spending three days in jail. That means you're going to spend three days in jail over $50. Can't no, you, you don't know nobody willing to come up with $50 right off the bat to get you out of jail because 10% of $500 is $50. But you're spending three days in jail because you don't know nobody that's willing to call for $50 to get you out of jail right away. You're out of order. You must be a despicable person. You must be a low-down, low-life, egg-sucking dog if somebody won't spend $50 to get you out of jail. They don't want to let you out the cage for three days. Come on now. Get your life in order. Do right by people. All right? If this is you, 
you out of order. Now I know, I know this, and I say this also. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and there's nothing more beautiful and more precious than God's gift to a man and woman, which is a child. <laughs> Not all these, not all these babies is pretty. He has some ugly babies out here. You know why the baby is ugly? Because the parents is ugly. Okay, come on now. Preach the truth, the truth, and shame the devil. If you got a baby that's this, that, that that's this ugly, that's your fault. And you out of order. If you got a baby so ugly that the doctor tries to actually push it back inside you, you out of order. <laughs> if this is you, you out of order. If you go to a church that's so ghetto. The communion consists of Dr. Pepper and the real potato chip crumbs. You know what, boy, yeah. <sighs> okay, all right. If this is you, you're showing up out of order. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. If your credit is so bad, the person that stole your identity is mad at you because you won't take it back, okay? All right. <laughs> that's that's pitiful. If this is you, you show sure enough out of order. Well, Jesus. Mm-hmm. If you won't wear a bra, women, and some men, but you wear a tank top with your breast tucked down inside your pants, you know what? That's you know what, if you don't get you some support for them things, uh huh. Your mountains are experiencing an avalanche, just falling down. Quit it now. Support yourself. If this is you, you show sure enough out of order. Now, I'm telling you, man, you, you know, we need to take care of ourselves. And I tell you what, don't take for granted your, 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 your senses that you've been blessed with. Now, now I'm going to tell you, if, if, if you, if you, if, if if you got vision problems, I'm gonna put it like that. And you, and you have problems seeing and things like that stuff with your eyesight. I can understand that. But now, at some point, you you got to realize some type of thing has to be done, whether it's it's LASIK or something. But let me tell you, if this is you, if you let your eyesight get this bad, you show enough out of order. If you wear glasses that's so thick, you can read people's minds. You know what? You out of order because you've let your eyesight get to that point. If this is you, you showing up out of order. I'm telling you that you're welcome. I'm helping y'all. Lord Jesus, if this is you, you showing up out of order. If you got a fire stick for your 13 inch black and white television, you know what? That don't make no doggone sense. If this is you, finally, you showing up out of order. If you go to school, the school of the blind, actually, and bump people on purpose. Now, see, right there, I'm going to stop because that right there is just foul. You're going to go to the school of the blind, them people can't see, and you bumping into people on purpose, making them people say, excuse me, scaring them people, startling them, and you think it's a game. Come on now. I ain't playing with you. Boy, Jesus, I'm 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 gonna stop. No, you know what? You're gonna get some more out of order. Cause in 2020, I'm gonna get you in order. Here it is. If this is you, you showing up out of order. You know what? That this self expression with these tattoos and things. You know what? That body art. Some of it is absolutely beautiful. It's creative. Some of the tattoos, yes, 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 it's art. But some of y'all go too far. Okay. Some of y'all want to get too. Detail, so to speak. If this is you, you show up out of order. If you got a tattoo of praying hands on your arm and the fingernails is dirty on the hands, you out of order. See, that's that's too much. That's a little you know much that that's almost blasphemy. Now you got praying hands on you tattooed on your arms, but the fingernails is dirty. You know what, you, you you talked about that a little too much, okay? You're giving us a little too much information. You didn't kept it a little too real. If this is you, you out of order. If you're the one that gave your dog fleas, you out of order. Come on, you nasty and dirty. Why don't you clean yourself? You will mess around and get the dog sick and give him the coronavirus, and he don't even like that kind of beer. If this is you, you showing up out of order. Look here. <laughs> Women, well, I mean, if you're wearing a wig that's nappy, 
see you showing up out of order. First of all, if your wig is nappy, it's time for you to do something with it. Either comb it, brush it, or throw it away. If this is you, you show sure enough out of order, Lord Jesus. If you and your mama move in with your girlfriend, you know, well, y'all ain't even married, and you just going to take your mama and move into her house. Not only are you not trying to do nothing, but you ain't trying to help your mama do nothing either. So she got to take care of both of y'all, you know. If this is you, you show sure enough out of order. Look, if you go up to the front of the church to get prayer, and when the pastor goes to lay his hands on you, you fart. You know what? You, you, see, that's the, that ain't nothing but the devil. That ain't nothing but the devil. You show sure enough out of order. If this is you, again, you out of order. Look here, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. But if this, this is you, ain't no beauty in you, okay? If you're so ugly, although you've never done any type of drugs, they still use a picture of you to illustrate the effects of smoking crack. You out of order. Ooh, that's bad. <laughs> you know what? That's 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 bad. If this is you, you show enough out of order. If your house is so nasty that your mice complain about the roaches, you know what? That, I started to stop, but I'm going to keep on going because I'm going to get you in order in 2020. If this is you, you show sure enough out of order. Look here. I know everything in life is a process, and it's all about baby steps. You got to crawl before you walk, walk before you jog, jog before you run. But come on, it's 2020 now. It's 2020. And if this is you, if this is what you're doing in 2020, if this is how you living in 2020, I ain't mad at you, but I'm kind of disappointed. If you're financing right now a car or a truck with a cassette player in it, you out of order. First of all, you know, they they stopped putting cassettes in cars, I believe, in, I want to say, 99. Uh, so... Uh, yeah, 20 years later, you, if you find this in a car that's 20 years old, you show enough out of order. Lord Jesus, how bad must your credit be? I, again, I want to be a blessing and not a curse. If this is you, you show enough out of order. Look here. If you're so dumb, you at the ATM trying to get money. Off your food stamp card. You know what? That's, uh, yeah, that, that don't make no dog no sense. You ain't got no money on it. You know, that's for food. That ain't for cash advances. I, I, that ain't no bank, okay? You ain't got money like that, okay? <sighs> Look here. This next segment. I introduced this segment about, well, probably about, I want to say around November. And I tell you what, it 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 touched it touched my heart and it blessed my spirit because I know that it was a very powerful segment. You know, right now, you know, uh, in these times, a lot of times we meet people that you know, or we hook up with people, we hang around people, and it's, it's always either one in the group or it's two in the group, or maybe it's us in the group. We want to control people. We want to be in control. We want to be able to manipulate uh, situations and people, you know. Be in charge, boss people, kind of bully them around. Make them do things that they, they don't want to do. Make them into people or uh, act like the people we want to act, and it's not really them. If this is you, I want you to understand that you can't make people, and I can't make people. Here it is. This segment is, I can't make you, because I can't. I honestly can't. Number one, uh, I can't make you. Example, I can't make my wife get along with my girlfriend. I can't. I can't make her do it. Number two, I can't make you my boss. I can't make you understand why I steal from all my jobs. I can't make you. No, it's just something I do. Number three, my pastor. I can't make you understand I don't want you laying hands on me because 
I see you in the pool pit digging in your nose. I, I, can't, I can't make you understand that. That's nasty to me. Number four, I can't make you my mailman. I can't make you understand. I fight you on the first of the month because, well, that's when you try to put the bills in my mailbox. And, and I can't make you. I, 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 I can't. Again, I want to be a blessing and not a curse. I'm helping y'all tonight. Here it is, this next segment. I'll tell you, whoa, we're rolling along tonight. Whoa, y'all know, I, and I mentioned it earlier, it's tax season. You know what? The reason why I, 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 I'm going to do this segment, because you know what? Again, a lot of people out here, you know, flaunting. Now, all of a sudden, they flossing. All of a sudden, they walk in with their with their head up high and they they chest out, you know, and 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 they they living large, you know, they 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 balling out of control. But they just got a balling season, okay? Because when tax season is over, then they go back to being the same broke, busted, and disgusted self. You know these people? They are tax time rich. Now, of course, you could be tax time rich. Family member could be tax time rich. A friend, a co worker, a stranger in the street, someone you see at your local grocery store, at your local bank, somebody you pass as you walk into the park on a beautiful sunny day. I just believe it's my duty and obligation to point out to people that, hey, you only rich during tax season. After that, you broke. Look here. If you recognize. Any of these and anybody you know, put a stop to that madness. And if you don't recognize any of these and anybody you know, that's because you're the one full of madness. Number one, tax time, Rich. Example number one. Look here. You got a little bitty bathroom with a big screen TV in it. Come on now. Come on. Why do you need a big screen TV in your bathroom? You know what? Your TV take up the whole wall of your bathroom. Come on now. You tax time, Rich. Number two. Example number two. Oh, my God. You walking in JCPenney shopping wearing a Gucci sweatsuit. What you in JCPenney for? They don't sell Gucci. Huh? You tax time, Rich. Example number three. You sending out invitations to your tax refund bash. Talking about it's gonna be a cash bash. Food stamp fiesta. You know what? You you tax time rich. Example number four. Look here. You in the grocery store in some yoga pants and a fur coat. Yeah, you tax time rich. You you tax time rich. Example number five. You and Family Dollar making it rain on the other customers. Understand you 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 you, you in family dollar, man. Really? Girl please. Chow boo. Number six. Example number six. You in KFC offering people a hundred dollars to lick your fingers. You know what's that's nasty and you know what? I'm gonna leave that in the mouth. I hope your nails is clean. Uh you tax time rich. This one here, number seven. Lord Jesus, you take your eight-year-old to go get fitted for a gold grill in their mouth. You know what? You just tax time rich, and you're gonna scar that child, huh? Looking like Little John's Little John. What? Okay, if this is you, you tax time rich. Example number eight. Look here, Lord Jesus. You raising chickens in your living room? Well, I, well, I don't. So you raising chickens in your living room because you want to make sure that they grain fed and they got no steroids in them. You, okay, all right. Number nine, you tax time rich. Look here, you can buy rims for your baby daddy's car, and his car is in in the impound. So you gonna you gonna spend four five thousand dollars on rims for a car that's in the city impound? What if he never gets a car out? Huh? You you stupid. You tax time rich. 
And finally, number 10, you tax time rich. You're talking about Trump is the best president we ever had. Yeah, that's because you <laughs> you tax time rich. Wait till your tax money run out. Then see what you say about Donald Trump. Again, I'm helping you out tonight. I want to be a blessing <laughs> and not a curse. Here we go. I'm telling you, I'm happy we roll right along. This segment is, if that ain't stupid, you know, people do stupid stuff all the time. And they don't even realize it's stupid. To them, it makes sense. But to you, you know it's stupid. Now, look here. If you see somebody doing stupid things, just tell them, hey, it's kind of stupid. Why are you doing it? Are you stupid? If they answer you yes, then leave them alone. If they answer you no, smack them. Let's go. Uh, number one, if that ain't stupid, now you put your uh, gosh, you put your dirty microwave in the dishwasher. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Boy, if that ain't stupid. Number two, if that ain't stupid, you call yourself homeschooling your ten year old, but you work two jobs. So basically, he is self taught. So you raising an idiot. All right. Uh, Number three, if that ain't stupid, you get kicked out of your apartment for not paying your rent because you spent your rent money on lottery tickets. Man, if that ain't stupid. Number four, if that ain't stupid, oh, my gosh. You color in your ball spot with a permanent marker. (laughs) You know what? If that ain't stupid. Number five. If that ain't stupid, you call 911 because you at the ATM and you didn't forget your PIN number. You know what? I guess you need that little $60, don't you? If that ain't stupid, number six, you outside the Weight Watchers selling Girl Scout cookies. You know what? Somebody's going to buy the cookies and then somebody's going to hurt you. They're going to put you in a bear hug and squeeze half the life out of you. Hey, man, I'm telling you, hey, big people don't play like that. You're playing with their emotions. Stop. Number seven, if that ain't stupid, you in Dollar Tree asking for a price check. Now, I told y'all before about going in Dollar Tree with that foolishness. Everything's a dollar. Huh? Number eight, if that ain't stupid, you trying to buy first-class Greyhound bus tickets. Newsflash, Greyhound ain't got a first-class section unless it's on the driver's lap. Shut up. You're an idiot. If that ain't stupid. Number nine, you take out a personal loan to buy scratch-off tickets. You know what? <laughs> so you didn't take out a loan to try <laughs> Boy, you're talking about some dumb luck. Yeah. If that ain't stupid. Finally, number 10, if that ain't stupid. I told you I was helping y'all. You take off work to fight your baby dad at his job. See, now you finna get him fired and you fired. So ain't no child support coming to the child because ain't nobody working. If that ain't stupid. Again, I told you I'm in a, a blessing, not a curse. Finally, let's get to the church announcement. I tell you what, feel free to join us in the sanctuary or as we stream live, for I tell you what we are, we are the church of Jesus takes the wheel. I got the gas. Baptist church. We are small in number, but we are big in faith. I say we are small in number, but we are big in faith. The reason why I like to do the church announcement is because I want to make sure that everyone's kept abreast of what's going on. I want to make sure that uh, everyone's on one accord, that the body is unified, that there's no saint left behind. I like to do the church announcements for individuals that were not able to make it to the sanctuary for the sick to do this and the shed it up again. I also like to do the church announcements for individuals that may have been in the sanctuary but missed some part of all. Let me say it again. Some part or uh, some part or all of the announcements because they were so busy doing things that they ain't got no business doing. Okay? Let me tell you what. <laughs> yeah. Don't think I don't know a couple of deacons was back there. 
on their phone watching some old nasty stuff. I know you was watching some old nasty movies on your phone. Yes. <laughs> yes, because when you didn't say I was watching, when I was walking through and preaching the word, I glanced down and saw your phone, and I recognized the movie. You have to be ashamed of yourself. That's number one. <sighs> Look here. We have uh, facilities for both men and women in the back of the sanctuary. There is a bathroom for the men and there's a bathroom for the women. Women use the bathroom for the women. Men use the bathroom for the men. If you don't know which is which, the the, the bathroom for the women, she got on a, a dress or a skirt, okay? Bathroom for the men, it's just straight legs, okay? I say that to say this. Somebody went in my office and used my private bathroom. Somebody used the pastor's bathroom. Now, I can understand if uh, both of the bathrooms in the back were occupied and you just had to go, you got to go. But have some respect. Somebody used my private bathroom in the office and they left a turd in there that was so big I thought it was a puppy drowning. I reached my hand in there and tried to save it. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I sanitized for almost 15 minutes. Let me find out who... Let me find out who dropped that log in there like that. Soon on I put these hands on you in a disrespectful way. Nothing number two. Uh, look here. Mother Johnson can't be praying for people anymore because she be bringing her own bless oil. And last Sunday, she slapped Listerine on somebody's forehead, and it was Brother Larry. Now, uh, his breath still stank, but at least his hair ain't got no cavities. Mother Jenkins, announcement for you. Please don't take your teeth out and sit them on the bench beside you. It's distracting. Finally, we get to the announcement that, well, I look forward to not looking forward to. And that's the building fund because it offers uh, a little bit of something for everybody. Uh, mystery, intrigue, humor, drama, unpredictability, adventure. Horror. And today, the building fund has raised. As, as, I might as well go ahead and read it. As of the day, the building fund has raised, and I quote, question mark. What the heck? <laughs> Man, you know what I'm going to start doing. I'm going to start. When you get in church next Sunday, I, I'm tempted to lock the, the, the put a pad, have some, the deacon run him, uh, uh, and, and put a pad lock and chain on the door, and it's going to cost you to get out. We're going to raise money some kind of way. Well, you all, thank you so much for joining me for another Sunday with Nuts with your boy Drake. Now, like I always like to do, I'm going to ask you to please bow your head and close your eyes as I pray us out. Now, you don't have to close your eyes if you're blind because realistically, it don't matter. Seriously, for real. Wow. Oh, Lord, we thank you for another Sunday when nuts we drink. We thank you for another opportunity to come together in fun, face, and fellowship for opening doors that no man can shut. Thank you for making a way out of no way. Being a lawyer in the courtroom, Doctor in the sick room, <laughs> being a yoga instructor in the yoga room, <laughs> not being a peeping tom in my neighbor's bedroom, though. But most of all, we thank you for being God and God alone, loving us more than we can love you or even ourselves. We give you praise, honor, and glory. Amen. Now, until the next time, which will be the best time, you all enjoy your week. Have a great week.
Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I will see you next Sunday. There will be more nuts with more Dre because I'm going to eat me a little bite of something. I'm going to put on a little weight. Now, I love you, and there's nothing you can do about it. If you try to stop my love, I'll hurt you because my love hurts. I love hard. It's pleasure and it's pain. You all take care. Good night. Yes, Lord. We need you. Hallelujah. They hate and they point and they talk in. I won't fall back, I'm still walking. My head to the sky and I promise gonna keep on. Hallelujah. They hate and they point and they talk in. And I won't fall back, I'm still walking. My head to the sky and I promise gonna keep on. Hallelujah. Sitting in the pew. Searching for my purpose, okay. the preacher on fire, got me focused in the service. He said, bless is the man, I'm pressing through the fire. It seems I'm falling back, but I know I'm going higher. Favor don't look like favor, look like a dead end. You preaching today, sir, please say it again. Faith is what we hope for, speaking to existence. At times I feel lost, feel like I'm out of position. Then my mind start racing, thinking about David, and how he had one stone that dropped him to the pavement. Now I hear the word, how Joseph was a and even though he fell, his faith was still standing. I'm a tough enough and walk the miles that he chose. He done told me in the den, but your miles will be closed. The word on fire, the anointing, I can hear it. I'm sitting in this role and I can feel his Holy Spirit. They hate and they point and they talk in. And I won't fall back, I'm still walking. My head to the sky and I promise gonna keep on. They hate and they point and they talk in. Cause the Lord already saved me I'm clutching on this grace and bracing all that he gave me At times I get weary The storm means I'm tested I ask to be purged just in case I got infected Before I came in I was listening to church He said we got the victory, I'm healed from the hurt I started feeling good but would it last throughout the week Pastor, I'm being real, it's the truth that I speak I'm called to be chosen, I'm called to be great But I'm wrapped up in this flesh and my faith begins to break Then I remember about James 1:12 and how we serve the one that his name never fails. I hear the altar call, yeah he pulling on my soul. I'm feeling recharged, I was back on my pose. Was weak for a minute, but great as he. Now I'm walking in my purpose and it's favor on me. They hate and they point and they talk in. I won't fall back, I'm still walking. My head to the sky and I promise gonna keep on. They hate and they point. Talking, and I won't fall back, I'm still walking My head to the sky and I promise gonna keep on They hate and they point and they talking And I won't fall back, I'm still walking My head to the sky and I promise gonna keep on They hate and they point and they talking And I won't fall back, I'm still walking my head to the sky and I promise gonna keep on